In our Hidden History Report, the big game has football and food on everyone's minds. And if you're a Hog fan who's traveled to an Alabama game, you might have eaten at Dreamland Barbecue. It's come a long way since it opened as a Hill Cafe in Tuscaloosa in the late 1950s. But as KNWA Lee Gardner explained, if it wasn't for a dream, Dreamland could have been a final resting place. And it was just scrumptious. It's hard to stay hidden when your ribs are the stuff of legend. Uh, this is Mr. Bishop, and this is my father. But the history behind Dreamland Barbecue is a little more mysterious. Now, I can't tell you all our tricks, just like some of their recipes. You know, legend has it there's a little moonshine in it. I can neither confirm nor deny. But just like the restaurant's famous motto goes, Ain't nothing like them nowhere. There almost really wasn't anything like them anywhere. Because former Brick Mason and founder Big Daddy John Bishop was contemplating opening a mortuary instead. But as the story goes, his decision was made thanks to a dream. Better than a mortuary, and we are so thankful that he made that decision. So in 1958, the same year the Bears started coaching at Bama, Bishop opened his Hillside Cafe in the Jerusalem Heights community in Tuscaloosa. At that time, they served all kinds of things, even sold postage. But at the end of the day, he always ran out of ribs and he had these other items left over. So like a true entrepreneur, he skinned his menu down to just be ribs. And that was how, the, how it all began. We feel like we're a very good ambassador. You know, food is the great equalizer, food and sports sometimes. And if we can just be a part of that and be a part of people's memories, their fun memories, their family memories, their sports memories, that, that means a lot to us. We're all drooling behind the camera right now. Stick around.